Hello everyone. Now imagine that you are working for a new release of your application. Now this is a fantastic release and you are very excited about it, but you want to get it validated from a certain set of people. Maybe you are stakeholders. So how would you share that application that is not yet released uh, with your stakeholders? Now one option would be to create a new application environment and share it with them. Probably you will have a certain URL to access that unreleased version but that URL may be publicly accessible. So what if that URL is accessed by one of your competitors? Will that be a disadvantage for you? Probably or probably not. However, if you want to make sure that unreleased version is only accessible by those stakeholders, what you can do is you can add some password protection to that. So in this video, I will show you exactly that how to add password protection to a new application environment using AWS Amplify console. And hey, my name is Manoj Fernando. I create videos to solve different problems when you start using AWS in your production projects. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos just like these. All right, so to get started, I am at the AWS console and I will go to AWS Amplify here or you can search it in the find services. And as you can remember in the previous episode, we have created three environments. So this is the application we created. And for this application, we have three environment, dev, master and test. And we have already set up continuous deployment for each and every environment as well. So today, let's create a new version for this application and let's add password protection on top of that environment so that only the certain number of people who share that password will be able to view the environment or the view the new application really. So let's get started. So as the first step, let's go to the GitHub repository that is attached to this application. You can easily click this link. Let's say I want to go to the master branch, GitHub master, then it will open it in a new tab. And here we go. So this is the repository that I have attached and I am in the master branch. So I'll click here and I'm going to create a new branch. So let's call it uh, version two and I'll paste it on uh, master branch. Okay, now we have the new branch. So I want to do some changes to this version two. Otherwise, there's no point of having this version two. So let me get back to my Visual Studio code. So I will create a new branch for this. So let's say JIT checkout dash B and I'll call it version two. Okay, now that we are in version two, so let's do some changes. So let me change this text. I love coffee v2 and also i will change the gif that is attached here so let me come here and i'll copy this one remove the existing one and replace it save okay now i'm going to push these changes to this new branch so first let me add these changes git add dash capital a and then i'll do a commit application version 2 okay then I will push these changes to origin and the branch is version 2 okay the changes are been committed let me just double check whether it is committed and here we go so the new version got some changes Perfect. So what I will do next is I will go back to AWS Amplify console and then connect this particular branch. So I will click connect branch, click here and only version 2 is shown up. I select it, click next, save and deploy. So if I scroll it little bit down, you should see the version 2 is now being provisioned. Now, by the way, guys, if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure you watch it because we have set up continuous deployment for each and every environment. Okay, guys, so our new version is now deployed. So you can just view it by clicking this link. And here we go, our new GIF and the new text. So let's change this uh, domain as well. So we have already done that in the previous episode. But 
just for consistency let's go to domain management and I will click manage subdomain I will add the other one so this time let's call it version 2.coffeelove.tk and that should be pointing to version 2 and then I'll click update so it will take few minutes to update the changes and once it is updated then we should be able to view our application with version 2.coffeelove.tk and here we go it just worked version 2.coffeelove.tk so but right now this can be accessed by anybody if they got this URL so to prevent that let's add some password so we can very easily do that by going to access control from the left sidebar here we go access control and then I will click manage access and as you can see all these branches all the environment that is attached to these branches are publicly viewable so I don't want that for version 2 so I'll click the drop down here and I will select restricted the password is required and after that I will add a username let's call it admin and then the password confirm the password and click save so how easy that is so with this change we shouldn't be able to access the new environment without this password so let's check that out so here is the one that I previously loaded let me do a refresh and here you go I'm asked to enter the password admin and my password click sign in and after that I'm able to view it let's use a different browser so far in this case and I will paste the same link and hit enter again I am asked to enter the password login and here we go we can see the new version so this is what I want to show you guys I hope this may be useful to you and I will see you in a new episode